Hey, do you love chocolate? Well, today's recipe, we're making chocolate ice cream out of cottage cheese. Now, you may have seen this, it's been all over social media, and or maybe you haven't. Now, I just decided to try it because I'm always looking for a nice, healthier version of some of our treats and desserts that we have. So believe it or not, you can make ice cream out of cottage cheese. I've done it both ways. I've uh, put it in the freezer so it's like ice cream and I've left it out in the refrigerator so that it's more like pudding. So you can eat it either way. And I kind of like the pudding even a little better. Now in today's recipe, I'm gonna be adding a nice drizzle of peanut butter and I'm gonna sprinkle in some chocolate chips. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Which celebrity is always ready for ice cream? Reese Witherspoon. To make cottage cheese ice cream, of course, we need some cottage cheese. Now, I like to read labels and use the cottage cheese that has the least amount of ingredients. Now, check this out. Skim milk, cream, and salt. That's it. Now, the best way to make this is with a high-speed blender. So, we're going to place our cottage cheese right in there. To enhance the sweetness, I'm going to add a little vanilla extract. And remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. At this point, I like to start blending this up so that the cottage cheese gets really smooth and creamy. Look at how light and fluffy this is. I mean, it is creamy, silky smooth. Now we have to sweeten this up, and I'm using maple syrup here, and we have to add enough to give it a nice sweetness. I started off here with three tablespoons, and you can always add more if you want to. I like to blend this up now just because I wanna see how sweet it is and then I may add another tablespoon or so. Now is a good time to give this a taste and see how the sweetness is. Okay, I need more sweetness so another tablespoon goes in. Now for our chocolate flavor, I'm using my favorite brand, Guitard, and I'm using their Coco Rouge cocoa powder. I'm gonna drop that in and let it blend up. Cocoa powder is high in polyphenols, and in particular one called theobromine, which helps to reduce inflammation and maybe protect you from diseases such as heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. I like to bump up my protein content in some of my desserts, so I'm using a whey protein isolate here that's unflavored, and this one here blends in real nicely. Now it's time to add my favorite milk chocolate chips by Guitard. Now, since these are on the large size, it's best to chop these up. They'll end up looking something like this. Now, since I'm making ice cream out of this and pudding, I'm going to put the ice cream portion in back into my cottage cheese container. It works well. So I'm going to put most of it in there so I have something to scoop out. And then I'm going to put the rest of it in one of these little side dishes here uh, for the pudding. Now, who doesn't love a little peanut butter in your chocolate? Well, we're using Laura Scudder's here. Now, you really want to use a nice, creamy, smooth peanut butter and even heat it up a little bit if you have to, just so that it'll spread around easily for you. And we'll do the same here with the pudding. Just drizzle it on over the top. Then we'll give a good sprinkle of those chocolate chips. I cut out a circle of parchment paper just to protect the ice cream and I just lay that right on top, push it down on top of the ice cream, and then put the lid on it. So one of the biggest complaints that I've heard about cottage cheese ice cream is that when you go to freeze it, especially overnight, it turns out rock solid and it gets icy. And so they say, well, you can just freeze it for like two hours and then make sure you serve it up. All right, well, that's not always convenient. But anyway, so what I'm gonna try is a little experiment. I'm gonna take mine and I'm gonna place my ice cream into back into the cottage cheese container and then I'm going to put it in the freezer in an insulated bag like I have right here. Now I got this from ordering food on you know online and they put it in an insulated bags and so I'm going to try that and see if it doesn't help keep it softer. So we're going to find out tomorrow after we let this sit overnight in the freezer. Now for the pudding I'm just going to cover it with some saran wrap and place it in the refrigerator and we'll try that tomorrow as well. It's time for chef joke number two. All right, Bert and Ernie are hanging out one day and Bert says to Ernie, hey, Ernie, would you like to get some ice cream? And Ernie says, sure, Bert. All right, it's been 24 hours and we're ready to test our ice cream. So I've taken it out of the freezer. I've got it in my uh, wrap here and we're gonna see if it's scoopable or not. No, 
Now it sounds a little icy. I can scoop it so it did help. It looks like ice cream. And I think I really like the idea of wrapping it in that insulated wrap. Now, not everybody's gonna have that, of course. Now I'm gonna give it a taste. I can taste, it's very chocolatey. It's got that peanut butter. I like the little chips that have been shaved off. It adds a little more sweetness to it. This is really good. I think you're gonna like it. I'm gonna have another bite. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's only slightly icy. It's really good. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I, I like the idea of this for sure. You can get your hands on some of that. It's a way to do it. Otherwise, this turns out, like I said, rock solid. You could leave it sit out for 10 minutes or 15, soften it up, and then you can serve it up. But this is definitely worth trying. Now, as far as the pudding goes, I think the consistency is perfect for pudding. It's cold. In fact, I think between the two, I like it better as a pudding. It's creamy, it's rich, it's chocolatey, and I like adding a little bit of peanut butter in there. It stays soft. And the chocolate chips, of course, that sprinkle of, you know, shaved chocolate really is what you want. Mm. That is really good. So if you make this, you can try it both ways, but I vote for the pudding. So the question is, which one will you like better? Let me know down in the comments. And if you'd like to try another chocolate dessert, here are my high protein chocolate chip cookies. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the recipe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.